Hello, Houston campus. I wanted to take a moment to recap, uh, but first of all, thank you all for pressing your way to our leadership roundtable meeting. Uh, we want to remember some of the things that we did share, and that is we're uh, gearing up for IYC 2024. Now we have 12 kids, some of our sur surrogate kids uh, that are not necessarily members, uh, but they've been members of our church, and we are grateful uh, for our four uh, chaperones, including Pastor Ware, Lady Jeanette Salou, Lady Denise, uh, Brian, and also Lady Shakira Holloway. And so they're going to be going, and uh, we want to make sure that oh, this upcoming Sunday that they fill out the liability form, uh, that they are registered, we pay for their registration, we've ordered their shirt, and it is the church's responsibility, uh, Pastor Ware and all, to make sure that those 12 kids show up at IYC 2024. Thank you all for your support. And I also want you to, to know and re be reminded what I shared. If you have a supervisor, you have a boss, you have a rich cousin, reach out and ask them uh, for a donation for IYC. All the contributions that will come to the Houston campus will just cancel out the monies that we're spending out to assure that all of our children can go, okay? So if you can get a $100 donation from an uncle that don't go to church, uh, go in your supervisor's boss and ask can they sponsor a kid per kid at $40 per, then do that for Pastor Mike uh, because all I wanted to do is make sure that our children were represented from our Houston campus. So I look forward to you rallying around me on the 9th, uh, no later than the, the 16th, and to bring those IYC sponsorship donations in. Will you do that for me? I know you will. I know you love me. I know you support. God bless you. We also want to take a moment and thank God for Brother Zillin and Lady Cindy who are going to be uh, um, consecrating their newborn, Nathan, little Nathan. And uh, we thank God on the 23rd at 8 a.m. service. We want you to come. We want you to be prayerful for that family and for Brother Nathan. And Pastor Nosa Morage is going to officiate it because our campus pastor is the God Dad. Isn't that wonderful? And I'm so excited for all of my family and we look to celebrate on that day. Let's not forget Family and Friends Day, 8 a.m., last Sunday of June. Uh, June is our evangelistic month of five Sundays, and we're asking everybody on fifth Sunday, bring as many people as possible. And it is my prayer that our board and Pastor Ware will have something uh, in store for those who bring the most guests and then the family that has the most donations. So what we need you to do coming up on the night is sign your family up, uh, that you'll participate in friendly competition of evangelism to bring the most friends, guests, co-workers, whatever you have and come and sit with you at our 8 a.m. service. Will you do that? Amen. Let's do that for a heart to win souls and also encourage people uh, to see what it is that makes us so special. Don't forget, fifth Sunday, the 30th, uh, at a 8 a.m. service. Well, brothers and sisters, let's continue to pray for our beloved brother, Brother Kenneth Gamble. Let's pray for his strength that God will bring him back full circle. And all of those, Lady Marie, uh, her brother, stands in need of prayer. And uh, we're praying for the Gordon family uh, as they undergird their loved one. And so let's continue to pray for each other. If there's anyone I miss, please forgive me. Uh, but those were the two pressing names that I received on this week, okay? Let's continue to pray also for Mother Almira. Though she's not in our midst, we still love her. Amen. And uh, always praying for her, her welfare. God bless you all. And remember, if you're going through tough times, come to the altar. And let God and one of your fellow brothers and sisters in God pray and touch and agree with you. All of us are going through various things. But we want you to know we're praying church. And somebody will be there to stand in the gap with you when you're going through your toughest times. God bless you all. Look forward to seeing you soon. Pastor Mike.